Chapter 9 Some Applications of Trigonometry Part 2 So in Part 1 we have studied uh, concepts of angle of elevation and angle of depression Ok So just to recall what is angle of elevation What is angle of elevation Viewed from bottom to top Ok This is uh, what one boy is uh, standing One tall boy is standing Here here tower, we have tower and above the tower you have flat stuff, flat foam. Okay. Then uh, this man is looking from bottom to top, top of the flat stuff or flat pole. Okay. He is looking uh, what the top of the flat pole. That is viewed from bottom to top. That means you will get what? Uh, one angle here, one angle okay between line of side and the horizontal. This horizontal you have to draw. This is ground parallel to the ground. You have to draw the horizontal line okay. Line of side and the horizontal line between you will get one angle okay. The angle is above the horizontal level. You see, angle is above the horizontal level means then it is called angle of elevation. It's called angle of elevation. Using this we can find out height of the tower or uh, height of the tower given means we can find out height of the pole here. Like this uh, we can find out. Understand? So this uh, concept is very important. Okay. Then come to angle of depression. Angle of depression means uh, you, in the ground you have one tree. Here tower the, above the tower one man is uh, standing and looking down that is bottom of the tree from the top he is looking down the bottom of the tree okay then you will get uh, what uh, one angle okay. this angle is called angle of depression that is line of sight you see line of sight so you have to draw always uh, what the angle is between line of sight and the horizontal so you have to draw one parallel line which is parallel to what horizontal which is parallel to the ground parallel line means what? How to draw parallel line to the ground? Okay, means you will get horizontal line. Horizontal means parallel to the ground. Okay. So this uh, angle, you see, this angle is uh, uh, what down? Okay, below the horizontal. The angle is formed below the horizontal. That's why it is called angle of depression. Angle of Depression. The theta is called angle of depression. Understand? This is the concept. So here the this line very important. You have to draw angle of depression means you have to draw because that is only concept. Okay. Angle of depression means below the horizontal level you have to take. Okay. Below the horizontal line you have to take the angle between line of sight and the horizontal. But these two parallel, these two parallel, so this is transversal, this is transversal means, this is theta means this is also theta, this is also theta, understand, this is also theta, remember, because alternate interior angle property how to use, these two are parallel means, this one is transversal means, you will get alternate interior angle. So using this we will see some more problems, yesterday I thought uh, some uh, problems, today we will see some more problems, okay, very important. This height and distance that is application of trigonometry is very very important chapter one definitely one or uh, long answer type questions clear so now you see the seventh question read the seventh question exercise uh, 9.1 read the seventh question from a point on the ground from the point on the ground on the ground you have to take one point the angle of elevation of the bottom and the top of the transmission tower fix at the top of a 20 meter high building building one high building is there okay there is a fixed transmission tower or 45 degree and 60 degree respectively find the height of the tower you have to find it right so what are the things given 
transmission tower height is given. Top of a transmission tower height is given. How to find out uh, uh, height of the building? Height of the building. Okay. So here a diagram is very important. Using this uh, uh, data, using this data, or uh, from the given problem, we have to draw the diagram. How to draw the diagram? First, you draw the building. Okay, building height, let's see, okay. then ground, As, uh, ground, clear, ground, then uh, you take one point, on the ground you take one point, here I am taking one point, on the ground, clear, then this is uh, what, uh, uh, building means, uh, then building above you have transmission tower. Transmission tower A. This point you take it as P. Transmission tower of height, how much given? 20 meter height is given. Okay, 20 meter height is given. So, this uh, whole distance, how much? This whole length is 20 plus H. 20 plus H meter. Okay, 20 plus H meter. Understand. Now, angle of elevation from the water, bottom to top, looking. So, first you take the angle of elevation top of the water, top of the transmission tower. Top of the transmission tower means highest angle you have to take. Okay, 60 degree that is 60 degree. Then you draw bottom of the angle of elevation for the bottom of the transmission tower. Then it will be automatically 45. Okay. The big angle will be 60. Small angle will be 45. This is 45. Correctly, you have to write. Always uh, what you write? Big angle outside. Clear? Inside you write small angle. Generally, you will not get any confusion. Right? Understand? 45, 60. This angle 45. Then this angle is 60. Big angle 60. Right? Now you take a forward convenient, uh, this one C and a BC you take X, BC you take X, okay. So this much only given in the uh, problem, using this problem you have drawn the diagram, diagram is very important, okay. Diagram wrong means then no mark at all. See, let uh, AB be the height of uh, the building of H meter, you take H meter. Then uh, AP be the AP be the height of tower, transmission tower. Or simply write tower of given 20 meters. That is that means AP is H and AP is 20. Okay, 20 meter. Now given Take uh, or you write uh, C is observing point. C is a point on the ground. C is a point on the ground. That is understood. Okay. No need to write. Now you take the angle, angle ACB. Angle ACB. Angle ECB 60 degree. Angle ACB 45 degree. Correctly you try. Okay. Given that is. Right, uh, given. Right, given. Okay. Now take uh, BC equal to X. Let uh, BC equal to X. Now you write in right triangle. That is very important. Right triangle. First to triangle, 45 degree you take. Uh, that is easy. Clear. Your stand 45 is 1. So that you take ECB in triangle. ECB. Take opposite side by adds. That is the tan. In that angle you have 45 degree. You see this triangle you have 45 degree opposite side by adjacent side. Then that is tan 45, tan 45. Right. Opposite side. What is opposite side? H. What is adjacent side? X. That is equal to how much? 1. Tan 45 is always 1. Okay. 1, 1. Group. So, 
opposite 45 here there okay base angle 45 means opposite side by adjacent side 1 by 1 is 1 always 1 okay for understanding purpose i draw the diagram always remember this diagram means very simple no need to draw the table and all clear very simple it's easy to remember okay you just what uh, bring the diagram in front of your eyes means you can very fast you can write okay one by one is one now find out x here cross multiplying x is equal to h that is important right you have to eliminate x that's why x is equal to h next you take in triangle what a pcb big triangle first small triangle we have taken now big triangle we take into right triangle in right triangle PCB PCB same upper by adds upper by adds is equal to tan 16 and 16 what is oppo opposite side means this full this full that is so PB 20 plus H 20 plus H why 20 plus h by x base is x that's equal to what is tan value tan tan is uh, easily you can write easily tan that is base angle base angle 13 is this is 16 okay so you know the ratio 1 2 3 root you put last 1 2 3 always start with perpendicular when you base angle is 13 start with perpendicular okay now here are tan 16 tan 60 means upper by Higher uh, adds upper by adds root 3 by 1 is root 3. Just to write root 3. You uh, what you have to do is cross multiply root 3x is equal to 20 plus h. Root 3x is equal to 20 plus h. Just to cross multiply means now you put uh, this x value, you put it here. X value root 3. What is the uh, x value? That is uh, h. That is h. That is equal to 20 plus h. Now, h and all bring one side. This can be written as root 3h minus h equal to 20. Now, h you take common means root 3 minus 1. You have doubt you multiply and see all this. Okay. Now, this one you divide. h is equal to 20 by root 3 minus 1. Now, what you have to do? Denominator is irrational number. So, you have to do rationalize. That means you have to take conjugate here. At last, you stop only you have to do it. Right? Therefore, h is equal to 20 into root 3 plus 1 by root 3 minus 1 into root 3 plus 1 is a square minus b square. That means root 3 square 3 minus 1 is 2. This one multiply means how much? 2. 3 minus 1 that is 2. Now you cut it means 10. That is, therefore, h is equal to 10 into root 3 plus 1. This is required height height of the tower therefore height of the tower is I will write here and see okay. therefore height of the tower is final answer you have to write okay tower is how much 10 into root 3 plus 1 meter So like this, uh, easily you can do this uh, problem. Okay. So you have to what uh, practice uh, draw the diagram according to the diagram. You have to what uh, two right triangle. We are using two right triangle and eliminating x. Eliminating x. So next we will see the ninth problem. Okay. Eighth problem is same like uh, seventh problem. Okay, the only difference is uh, the above height is given. Okay, tower uh, height you have to find out. That's all. Clear? Same like uh, seventh problem. Same diagram only. Okay, you have to change only the heights. You have to change. That's all. Clear? So easily you can do. You keep the uh, height of the tower H U K. Right, that one you keep it a uh, uh, statue given. Clear? Understand? 
height of the pedestal. Pedestal, you have to what? Keep it. Uh, H you keep it. Then height of the statue, uh, keep it. Uh, that is 1.8 something given. Okay, that one you keep it. So total height you can add it. Same way how to do it. Here, same way you do. You will get an uh, easy answer. Okay. Now we will see the ninth problem. The angle of elevation of the top of a building from the foot of the tower is 30 degrees. And the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the foot of the building is 60 degrees. If the tower is uh, 50 meter high, uh, find the height of the tower. Okay. So that means uh, what one side you have a building, one side you have tower. Okay. Here the height of the tower is given 50 meter. Height of the tower is given. Uh, 50 meter. So, reading according to this problem, you have to draw the diagram. That is very important. Okay. So, now you draw first. Now, you see, read uh, the problem again and again. Then you will understand the angle of elevation of the top of a building from the foot of the tower is 30 degree. Okay. Of a building. From the foot of the tower. Tower ka foot of the tower is this. From here, you have to take angle of elevation. So, angle of elevation is bottom to top. You have to draw here. Line. This angle is 30, you see. Small height means you will get small angle. Big height means you will get uh, big angle. That is the concept. Okay. Small height means small angle you will get. Big one means big angle you will get. Okay. Now, you see, correctly given here. And the angle of elevation of the top of the tower. This is the top of the tower. From the foot of the building, from the foot of the building, okay, from here, uh, what, uh, uh, take angle of elevation, okay. That means uh, this angle is 60 degree, this angle is 60 degree, okay. So, this diagram you draw correctly, then easily you can uh, do the solution, right. Diagram will be very important. Tell here you see common, the base is common, for both the triangle base common, you take a x. What we have to find out? Find the height of the building. Height of the building, what? H you do. Uh, then what is given here? 50 meter given. Height of the tower. Take uh, 50 meter. That's all. Diagram over. Now we have to write here. Delta ABBD. Height of building. Height of building. Of H meter, okay? H meter, okay, of H meter. Next, you take a uh, CDBD and a CDBD height of the tower, height of tower of fifty meter, of fifty meter. Okay. Now uh, the angle you write angle of ADB angle ADB given 30 degree and angle angle uh, CBD CBD given 60 degree right both angle given is angle of elevation that is given angle of elevation okay now you take let uh, BD is X, you take let BD equal to X, awesome. <clears throat> let uh, BD equal to X. Now in triangle, first you take uh, what, uh, this triangle, that is 60 degree, big triangle you take, in triangle, uh, because here X you know, here uh, 50 you know, that's why you take this triangle, that is big triangle you take this, oppo, oppo by adz. Okay, so in triangle, in right triangle, or CB, CDB, CDB, oppo by adz. What is oppo by adz? Tan. So tan this angle, this angle uh, degree is how much? 60. Okay, now what is oppo 50? By adz is x. At G 60 degree at this base, that is X. That's equal. What is the uh, 
root 3. What is tan 60? Root 3. Last problem also we have seen. Okay. Remember the diagram. Now just class multiplying. Means so here by 1 is there. Okay. Class multiplying means root 3x is equal to 50 or x you have to find out. Means 50 by root 3. Keep as it is. Don't uh, take conjugate under. At last you can take uh, conjugate. Right. You keep it as it is. Next you take in right triangle. In right triangle. ABD. Right triangle. ABD. Same oppo. Same 30 degree oppo. Oppo by adg. This tan 30. Oppo by adg is tan 30. So what is uh, oppo here? H, H by X. H by X is equal to what is tan 30? 1 by root 3. Remember this diagram on base. Remember 30, 16, 1 to 3. Root. So tan means uh, 30 degree ka oppo by adj 1 by root 3. Very simple. Clear? Now cross multiply. Cross multiply means uh, root 3 H is equal to X. What is X here? You see? X is uh, just to replace it. Root 3 H is equal to 50 by root 3. Now this root 3 you divided this side means uh, 50 by root 3 into root 3. That means 50 by 3. 50 by 3. Understand? 50 by 3 is what? Uh, how many times will go? One time. Then remainder 20 means 6. 16 point will. Right, 20, 6, 6 will come, right? 16.6 or you can write 16.67 approximately. Okay. 16.67 you can write approximately. Therefore, height of the height of building is building is 16. Final answer must be how to write height of the building is 16.67. Understand? So basically, how to draw the diagram properly? Here, then uh, two right triangle maybe two right triangle use means you will get answer. Okay. Now we will see the tenth problem. Read the problem. Two poles of equal heights are standing. Opposite to each other on the either side of the road. Road is the road the what uh, road, road between between the what road you have two poles opposite to each other, which is 80 meter wide, 80 meter wide. Okay, like this. Two poles of equal height, that is uh, H U T. Equal height H U T, right? But wide, wide of the road, that is distance, distance, uh, how much? 80 meter it is given. Width of the road, width of the road, okay. On either side, you have two poles of equal height, that is very important, right? Now, next, what is given here? From your point between on the road, you have to take anywhere this point. Okay, I for my convenience, I am taking here. Okay, I am taking here. You mention it, name it P. Name it P. Right. From your point between on the road, of the angles of elevation of the top of the pole are. So, angle of from this point, angle of uh, what uh, elevation you have to take. Understand? Angle of elevation you have to take. See, this is a uh, short. This is long. Clear? So short means if this is ninety degree, ninety degree short length uh, always will be 
big angle that is 60 degree this is long so that angle will be reduced that is 30 degree okay how to use uh, simple concept understand find the height of the poles height of the poles see how to find out height of the poles and the height of the poles okay same height that is and the distances of the pole point from the poles distance of the pole that means pd and pb also you have to find out so what we are going to be is this is x you take this is x means uh, this distance how much this pool what 80 means this is you reduce this x means 80 minus x this distance 80 minus x understand so like this you have to draw the diagram okay what is given accordingly correctly you have to name it and write now you write let a b and solution a b and c d be the poles of equal height poles of equal height h meter equal height h meter Right. P is a point and P be the point or P be a point on B D on B D. So that you will get the angle that is angle A P B. Angle A P B how much? 30. Angle A P B 30 and angle what are C P D C P D 60 given given right next you have to take a lecture B P also given B D given B D is what 80 meter Okay, and let you take this uh, BP is X. BP equal to X means then what will be BP is 80 minus X. 80 minus 6. Understand? Like this, uh, you have to write this. What is in the diagram? You have to write. Okay, now in the right triangle, first you take uh, this right triangle. Because this right triangle you can use x easily you can find out. Okay, in right triangle A B P opposite side by adjacent side that's equal to tan 30 degree. What is opposite side? 30 degree opposite side h by x that is equal to 1 by root 3. Remember the diagram. Okay, cross multiply means x easily will get root 3 h. Okay, so simplification part correctly how to learn. Okay, now you take uh, that right triangle, in right triangle, in right triangle, CPD, CPD, same opposite side by adjacent side. Oppo by x that is equal to tan how much 60. Okay. Now you know opposite side is uh, h by 80 minus x here. Here 80 minus x equal to what is the value of tan 60 root 3? Previous problem also we have same same uh, ratio. Now you h is equal to cross multiplying root 3 into 80 minus x now what I am going to do is this uh, x you replace it here okay you suppose you take 1 means uh, by 1 you can write okay x you replace means uh, root 3 h that is by 1 from by 1 means use 1 clear or using 1 therefore h is equal to root 3 multiply means 80 root 3 Minus root 3 into root 3, 3, 3 h. 
Okay, now h term bring this side means h plus 3h equal to 80 root 3. Therefore, here how much? 4h is equal to 80 root 3 and h is equal to divided by 4. How much you will get? 20 divided by 4 means 20 root 3. H is how much? 20 root 3. Okay. Height you got it. Now we have to find out what x. You put uh, this uh, uh, h is in 1. H in 1 you put. Put uh, h in 1. Does height also ask clear in 1. What do we get here? x is equal to x is equal to root, uh, root 3 into h is 20 root 3 root 3 into 20 root 3 how much root 3, 3 into root 3 3 into 20 3 into 20 is 60 60 meter right x is 60 meter then what will be dp very simple 60 you put in the x value 20 okay 20 meter Therefore, the required distances are okay, required distances are okay. One is uh, 60 meter, another one is 20 meter from the yes, distances of the point from the poles. Understand? So you write a required distances of the required distances or one is 60 meter, another one is 20 meter. Okay. So, next we will see the 12th problem, very, very important problem. From the top of a 7 meter high building, the angles of elevation of the top of a cable tower is 60 degree. Okay. And the angle of depression of its uh, foot is 45 degree. So, angle of depression. So, in this problem, both angle of elevation and angle of depression there. That's why very, very important. Okay. Determine the height of the uh, tower. So, first order, draw the diagram. Draw the diagram. Ground. The value draw. Here you have tower. Okay. High building 7 meter. 7 meter building. The, this side tower. Tower uh, height is given. From the top of a 7 meter high building. This tower height we have to find out. So you take this uh, height of the tower is H meter you take. Right. That is very important. Full. What is required that you take height of the tower is Clear h meter. That is that is the way. Clear. What is required? That you take height of the tower is h meter. You take clear. Generally, what correctly will get the answer. Otherwise, sometimes you will forget to find out h. Clear. Now, next, what you have to do is you see from from the top of a seven meter high building, seven meter high building, top of the high building, the angle of elevation, the here angle, angle of elevation of the top of the cable tower. This is cable tower. Okay. So angle of elevation means you have to what draw horizontal line. That is very important. Clear. Understand? Simply we cannot take this. We will take line of sight only. We will get. Okay. So the angle of elevation should be what both line of sight and the horizontal line. Okay. So you have to draw perpendicular line. You have to draw perpendicular line. Perpendicular to a, B, E you take. Okay, C, E perpendicular to A, B. Now you, uh, you draw the angle of elevation. Angle of elevation from the water, uh, top of the building to top of a tower. That means this is angle of elevation. Okay, so how much it will be? 60 degree. It will be 60 degree. Understand? It will be 60 degree. Now, you have to draw the Angle of depression. Here, angle of depression. Already you have horizontal line. 
Okay, angle of depression means from the top to bottom of the tunnel. This is angle of depression. Angle of depression, how much? Is it? Forty-five degree. Forty-five degree. This is so. All these two parallel line. These two parallel line means what? This is transverse. This is also forty-five degree. That we have tried. Okay. So this one seven means this is also seven. So how much it will be? Full H seven remove means H minus seven. Okay, H minus seven. That is V. Understand? This one you take X base is X. This is a common base X means this also X. Understand? Because rectangle. This is rectangle opposite X or equal. Okay. Automatically B D X means uh, C also X. Okay. Now, next one. A B be the A B be the height of the build. Uh, A B be the height of the tower. Height of the tower. A B be the height of the tower of H meter. A B be the height of the tower. H meter, right? C D B D. C D B D. The height of the building. Of seven meter, of seven meter. Understand? Draw, draw C D. C E perpendicular to E B. Hey, are they as any? Hard. Draw C E perpendicular to A B. C E perpendicular to A B, right? And then, so when you draw C E perpendicular to A B, is B equal to C D, that is seven centimeter. Therefore. Therefore, draw means uh, perpendicular means we'll get uh, B equal to C. C how much? Uh, C D. B equal to C D. That is seven meter. Okay. Now let you uh, let uh, the angle given that is A C E. Let A C E. Sixteen even thirty, and E C B is forty five. Forty five. Clear. Therefore, it is parallel. You write parallel. There is a what a G a C parallel to parallel to what B. Okay, and CD CD is transverse. Transverse. Therefore, therefore angle uh, CBD angle CBD the is also not required. Right away we can find out this angle also not required. Here you shall can find out x. Okay, that is better. Simple way we do. Right. This is not required. Okay, kind of angle it is not required. So you can see. Now you see, you take uh, this uh, uh, 
uh, angle that is given. Here you write given. Here you write given. Okay. Now uh, what? Uh, B equal to C to seven means uh, this is H means. What will be A? Therefore, A equal to. Here also can write. Therefore, A equal to this. Uh, this is H. H meter means so subtract. Uh, that is minus seven. Subtract means H minus seven will be full height seven. You subtract. Full height seven. You subtract means H minus seven will get A. Okay. Now you take a right triangle. First right triangle. What you have to take? Forty five degree given this. That you take first. Okay. Forty five degree here. Okay. That is a, a BCE. You take you right triangle BCE. What do we we'll get? Upper by edge. Upper by edge is tan forty five. You know very well tan forty five is one. Tan forty five is one. What is opposite side? Forty five ka opposite side is seven. Adjacent side. This adjacent side is what x. That is equal to one. Now x is equal to cross multiplying means x is equal to seven. X is equal to seven. We have to eliminate x. Okay. Find out h. Next we take this uh, right triangle. In right triangle. A is C. A is C. Same upper by adds. Same upper by adds. That means uh, what you will get opposite side. That is H minus seven. Or oh, you write the upper this angle. That is upper by adds means upper by adds means sixty degree ka upper. And this adds means tan tan sixty degree. This is tan sixty degree. So upper is H minus seven. H minus seven. Why? And this is same x. That's equal to tan sixty uh, is what root three. Tan sixty is root three. Now cross uh, multiply. So root three x is equal to H minus seven. H minus seven equal to root three x. That is what. H minus seven equal to root because H will keep left hand side unknown keep left hand side that is better. Okay, now you put a uh, x value. What is x? Put x value here. Seven x is seven. So H minus seven equal to root three into seven. What is root three into seven? Seven root three. H minus seven equal to seven root three. Right. Therefore, this seven you bring this side means seven root three plus seven. Seven you take uh, common. Seven you take common. Seven you take common means root three plus one meter. This is a required height. Required height. Sometimes root three value given. What is root three value? One point seven three two. Okay. Suppose given means okay. Root three value one point seven three two given. Given means you have to substitute here. That is equal to, but uh, in this problem not given. Okay, understand? So why I am telling is at last only how to put the value. Here at all if you put uh, uh, here if you put and simplify means it will be difficult, right? That's why at last answer only how to put root three value. You calculate means very simple, right? Plus one means two point. H is equal to seven into Two point integer part and decimal part right as it is right. You uh, seven you multiply means uh, how much you will get? Seven you multiply fourteen and twenty one means twenty two. Fourteen and fifty one. Fourteen nineteen 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 point one two four. For h is equal to nineteen point one three four, that is the height. Okay, therefore required height is meter. Okay. 
so very important uh, this one okay this part is uh, what when root 3 value given only you do otherwise this is only the answer okay unnecessarily don't do this in the problem it is given only you have to uh, do it otherwise keep as it is okay that's all okay same type of problem i will give it as uh, homework do the homework problem for better 